Hi, welcome to this tutorial. In this question, I'm going to solve question 11 from Nectar Form 4 2018 math pass paper. So we are told a farmer needs to buy up to 25 cows for a new herd. He can buy either brown cows at 50,000 shillings each or black cows at 80,000 shillings each and he can spend a total of no more than 1,580,000 shillings. He must have at least nine cows of each type. So at least nine cows of each type. On selling the cows, he will make a profit of 5,000 shillings on each brown cow and 6,000 shillings on each black cow. How many of each type he should buy to maximize profit now this is a real life situation where a farmer has some money and wants to maximize his profit he knows how many number of cows he wants to buy where he knows a maximum of 25 and he knows how much is going to cost him and he knows how much profit he will make for each cow so Taking into account all these conditions, a scenario, we need to come up with a mathematical model to help our farmer maximize profit. Okay, so before anything, we need to define our variables. So let x be the number of brown cows and let y be the number of black cows so now we need to think about all these uh, all these conditions that he has so we call them constraints okay things that he needs to take into account and this is where the math model comes in so first of all he needs to buy up to 25 cows. So number of brown cows plus number of brown cows cannot be more than 25. It can be less and can be equal. So we must use the inequality symbol. So less or equal to 25. So that's the first constraint. The second constraint is, is the cost of buying these cows. Each one brown cow is 50,000. So to buy X amount of brown cows is going to be 50,000 X. And to buy Y amounts of black cows is going to be 80,000 Y because each one is going to cost him um, 80,000 shillings. And all the cost altogether he has only 1,580,000 shillings. So he can spend up to that amount, but no more. So we must again use the inequality sign less or equal to 158000. Now I'm going to simplify this uh, inequality here because we can see we've got 000, too many of them. I'm just going to make this simpler. So by dividing by 10,000 throughout. So that will give me 5x plus 8y less or equal to 158. That's a much better uh, function to work with. Okay, so that's a second constraint. What is the third constraint then? Well, he needs to have at least nine of each type. This means our third constraint, x must be greater or equal. At least means it can be nine or more. And the last constraint is x, sorry, y, has to be greater or equal to nine. So now these are our mathematical models which we're going to use. Now, what do we need to maximize? Well, we know how much this farmer is going to make by selling from each cow, from selling each cow. So we need to define our objective. So our objective is to maximize 
profit. Okay, so we have a function. Profit is going to be equal to how much profit does he make by selling each brown cow? 5,000 shillings. So the total profit for brown cows is going to be 5,000 times x. So 5,000 x, the number of brown cows. Plus, how much money does he make by selling the black cows? 6,000. And we say y number of black cows. So that's going to be 6,000 y. So we are going to work with this model. This is our objective function, uh, considering all these constraints. Okay, so for this uh, slide then, what I've done here to speed up things, these are our constraints, and this is our objective function. What you need to do is graph uh, the inequalities or your constraints. So the first one I've done is the blue one here. So it is the um, red one, x plus y. We're going to make it equal to 25 so we can draw the line. Okay, so you do a small table and all you need is point of intersections. So I've made x equals to zero to find y. So using the first constraint, when x is zero, y is 25. When y is 0, x is 25, and you draw your line, two points, one there and one there. You join the line together. Then you need to check which side do you want. Well, here is what we have, x plus y less or equal to 25. We're going to check which side we want. Do we want that side of the line or do we want this side of the line? So we can use a point zero zero, this which is this side of the line, to see if it works. So zero plus zero, yes, it is less than twenty five. So that means the side that we want is this side here. So we want that side, not this side. And now for our next uh, constraint, which is say five x plus eight twice less or equal to one hundred and fifty eight. Well, we're going to make it equal to 158 so we can draw the line, which is this blue line here. Okay, and then we do the same thing. X equals to zero, so we choose point of intersection. So uh, when X is zero, Y is 1975, which is this point here. When Y is zero, X is 31.6. So is this line somewhere along here? And then you need to do the same. You need to test which side of the line do you want. Do you want that side of the line or do you want this side of the line? So again, you've got your function, which is 5x plus 8y less or equal to 158. Again, you can test this side of the line. Choose 0, 0. So this will give you 5 times 0, 0 plus 8 times 0, 0. Yes, that is... Good. So again, we want this, this side of the line for this blue line. Okay. So that means we're not happy with this area anymore. Because according to this line, we should go downward. But this line downward, but from here. So we need to satisfy both. And then we got the other constraint with x is greater or equal to 9. So we draw the line x equals to 9. Come up here, x is 9 and it's a vertical line. Again, which side of the line do we want? We want that side. Okay, greater or equal to 9 is this way, not that way. So anything on that side, we don't like. And then y is greater or equal to 9 is this line here. So we want it to be greater or equal to 9, that means that way. Now if you look, we only have this area that satisfies all our constraints. Now, in order to find, to maximize, we need to take these points of intersections, these ones, A, B, C, D, E, and we would need to find which one of these is the optimal points, the point that is going to give you the maximum profit. So point A, I've got it here, 
So point A is x is 9, y is 14. Point B, y is 9 and x is 9. So B is here, 9 and 9. And point C, x is 16 and y is 9. So, and then the last point is D. So over here, x is 14, x is 14 and y is 11. Now we've got all these points. The corners is what we want. We're now going to test our objective function, which is this one. So when you put x equals 9, 5,000 times 9 plus 6,000 times 14, you will get 129,000 shillings. If you put x is 9, y is 9, you get uh, 99 thousand shillings. Similarly, if you put these values down into our function, you will have 134,000 shillings. And for the last one, if you put these values in into our function here, you will get 136,000 shillings. So before I forget, this region that satisfy all the constraints is called the feasible region. So what that means, anything within this area will give the farmer some profit. That's what it means. And it will satisfy all the conditions, all our constraints. But the objective here is to find the maximum profit. And now I can see from my mathematical model, the maximum profit is going to make is 136,000 shillings. So the question says, how many of each type he should buy to maximize profit? Well, he needs to buy, so the farmer, the farmer needs to buy 14 brown cows and 11 black cows. And that's your solution. So altogether here is 25, which satisfies our condition, our constraint. Okay, thank you for watching. Please press like and subscribe to my channel. See you again.